Hey guys, it's me again. Um, first off, just a shout out to a couple of loons I saw on Twitter yesterday. Just a couple of people, two different people actually, I forgot their names. But they were uh, mounting off on a couple of video games that are supposedly um, of the occult. Or just mocking God and stuff like that. The video games they mentioned were Resident Evil 4 and I think the Assassin's Creed franchise. Guys, whatever. If you're going to be legalistic like that, will you please do us all a favor and make a complete list of everything that we are allowed to do or not allowed to do, every type of movie we're allowed to see, every type of music we're allowed to listen to. Please, just make a complete list, okay? You're a bunch of loons, you're legalists, you have nothing better to do, and you're probably not saved. So, one other thing, make sure you put your faith in Jesus Christ and what he did on the cross for you, his completed work on the cross, instead of relying on the things that you do or don't do to get you into heaven. But for now, you're just a bunch of loons, you've got nothing better to do, and nobody likes you. Okay, and um, without, uh, with that out of the way... Um, I just want to encourage the rest of us, um, those who belong to Jesus, of um, our blessed hope, the rapture. Um, the rapture basically will um, solve every problem you have here on earth in this life. It's the solution to everything, literally. And it is our blessed hope for many reasons. So it's, it's nothing to be ashamed of, and it's absolutely something we should all be looking forward to. The Lord did not design us to love this world, to love this life. Yes, there are things in this life that make it worth living. There are things in this life that are fun and enjoyable, but we, we're not supposed to be um, attached and nailed down to this world. Ultimately, we are to hate this life or to hate this world and um, every problem we've ever had in our lives every issue is the result of sin entering into the world you know beginning from Adam everything that we experience here in this life you know pain suffering illnesses crimes injustices all that is the result of sin. People who don't treat you quite right. People who don't love you quite right. You not treating others quite right. You hurting other people. You being selfish. We being selfish. All of this is just the result of sin. And if we belong to Christ, we absolutely hate these things. We do these things, but we don't really enjoy them um, when, we're, when we're born again and we just see all this evil all around us today all this is the result of sin and ultimately also part of God's plan um, as I've been saying in several of my videos evil is winning evil is dominating this planet and that's the way it's meant to be we're just supposed to hate this world more and more and more this is just the Lord showing us that number one we are not to love this life there's really nothing in it for us whose true citizenship is in heaven there's one way the lord is loosening our grips to this world and the other thing is it's it's to encourage us that when we see these things happening these birth things as i always like to talk about as jesus told us when we see these things happening earthquakes famines pestilences, wars, rumors of wars. Number one, he instructed us, you know, do not be troubled. Are we troubled? Yes, we probably are, but we're not supposed to be troubled. It's easy to get troubled because of our sinful nature. And, it, you know, it's easy to see, or it's easy to believe what we see with our eyes. And it's harder to put our faith in something that we've never seen before. Like the rapture, we have no idea how that plays out. I mean, we have an idea, but it's a one-time event, the rapture of the church. So we don't know 
with what to expect exactly and it's hard it's hard to really look forward to something that we have no clue how it's going to play out but we have to take it by faith so do not be troubled guys yes a lot of crap is happening especially with Israel we really need to keep our eyes on that but we are instructed to not be troubled and most importantly we are instructed to look up for our redemption draws near and that means looking forward to his appearing knowing that he's at the door that he's coming soon we don't know how soon I'm hoping this week but if not it's still soon yeah and of course there's this whole Trump thing that's, that's going on and as I always like to talk about it's really sad to be a cultural Christian a patriotic cultural Christian who's probably not born again and your hope is in Trump because Trump stands for everything you care about and, and you think he's the good guy there are no good guys in this whole polit political arena they're all on the same side even Trump you don't know what happens when the cameras stop rolling you really don't I mean they can literally show a video of Trump going to jail staying in jail you can't verify any of that all this is theater as I've been saying stop putting your faith in men it doesn't matter it doesn't matter if it's Trump or some other conservative guy whoever that might be if you're a Christian stop looking at 2024 as though your hope rests in that year because that will be the year that things turn around things are not going to turn around just like I said last time stop putting your faith in men stop hoping that some politician is going to solve everything for you you know what's going to solve everything the rapture and if we belong to Jesus we have every reason to be optimistic these horrible things that are happening around us it sucks but at the same time it's really a good sign because it's the way it's supposed to be at the end you know the people are so wicked everywhere they're violent they don't care about anything but themselves just like the Bible told us people would be during the last days and we are living in it so um, yeah just that's my brief rant for today um, be encouraged our redemption really does draw near and um, you conservatives out there who might actually even be Christians you know let your liberal friends rejoice over Trump or whatever it is that's happening they're all blind people who are not born again and um, and like I said what's happening to Trump is nothing to be sad about he's on the same side as the other guys it's all theater they're all paving the way for the Antichrist whether they know it or not and some of these guys probably do I wouldn't be surprised if any of these these political figures are already working you know with the Antichrist who's yet to be revealed he won't be revealed until we're out of here till after the rapture so um, stop trying to figure out his identity if you're obsessed with that I say go check your heart make sure you're truly of the faith because we're supposed to be looking for Christ not the Antichrist stop trying to um, label your, the guys that you don't like as a potential Antichrist that's just stupid stop trying to politicize everything anyway yeah keep looking up guys our redemption draws near and um, hopefully it's this weekend if not then you know we just keep looking up because things are ramping up and again let's keep our eyes on Israel that's God's prophetic timepiece and um, yeah it's just amazing that Israel is um, breaking down right now because that's the way it's gonna be um, according to Ezekiel all these things just lining up I think they're done lining up I think it's just you know we're, we're just waiting for that trumpet so keep looking up guys make sure you're saved if you're not saved I'm sure you have um, Christian friends who have told you the gospel many times listen to it listen to them and if you don't know the gospel that's Jesus died on the cross to pay for the penalty of all our sins and he rose again on the third day literally physically and that signifies that God accepted that sacrifice it's like he sent all of us like a billion dollar check it's in our mailbox it's a free gift 
but we still have to get that check and take it to the bank. It's there for everyone. All you have to do is believe, put your faith in the fact that Jesus did pay for your sins. Put your faith in that, that that will be your only way to get saved, to get to heaven. We're saved by grace alone, through faith alone. Not, not of our works, lest any man should boast. Just believe that gospel. That is the gospel. Very simple. Don't be stupid. Put your faith in that. Or else get left behind for the Great Tribulation, which is going to be the worst time in the history of humans. Yes, humans. Anyway, so yeah. I'm, I've been ranting way too long now. Um, thank you guys for watching. Um, and I hope it's soon. I hope it's, it's this weekend. And if not, then we just keep looking. Keep waiting. Keep watching the skies, waiting for that trumpet.